correct way to feed the dog is to actually prove or actually show somehow that uh, our dogs getting our leftovers that's a very important thing the dogs are through the history always eating the leftovers of a man when the man or towers of of ours of the family whatever the leftovers was uh, that was a food for the dog and the relationship between man and dog was never so so uh, stressful as it's now when we live so close to each other and if we want to regain a leadership position we just need to uh, prove that we are as a leaders taking care about ourselves first so what you want to do is just you know chew a little piece of chocolate eat an apple uh, while you are preparing your dog's food and be aware of that that while you are eating that little thing the dog see you eat and probably since you already have a bowl and you're doing some things with the food and things like that so once you put the f bowl down you are actually showing that you ate first and the dogs will be happy because they are getting um, they are getting their food just after we ate so two with this with this behavior and the, with this ritual with this action we are actually telling two things first i'm a leader i'm leading this community i now know what i'm doing you need to trust me so if i'm leading this community i'm important to the community and i eat first so i eat first and the second thing, I'll share my food with you. So the dog is not aware of that, that we are eating chocolate or we are eating apple. What he's aware of is all the hormone, hormones that are starting to you know, be released so that that digestion process can start of that what we ate. We ate the chocolate or a piece of bread or whatever we ate. Our, our body interaction to the process of digestion whatever we took in us starts all of those hormones that are released in order to support digestion has their own smell the dog smells that we are engaging in the hormonal action of digestion so we are actively eating and the dog is happy because he's next to us and then suddenly we just give him our quote quote under the quote like leftovers so the dog doesn't know we ate chocolate and we are giving them kibbles it just kind of oh we ate first and we are giving him whatever it's left from us so that's something that engages um, the dogs in in us that they actually understand that oh my god like he's really taking care about himself so he's taking care about myself so maybe here i need to you know pull back a little bit and give them the space so that's in little dog's mind happening but that's actually what you need to do some after you put the ball down you need to go away for 20 minutes 15 minutes no matter how long you want to you know have your dog feed in this ritual you just give him a space so the dog eats in peace you come back after 15 20 minutes and you take over take off the ball even it's empty or there is more food or he didn't touch it you just you know you give a time frame to the ritual you start it properly you perform it properly you give a space to the dog he eats he doesn't eat whatever he does there it's it's up to him and you come back you pick up the bowl and the eating ritual is completed there is no such a thing like ball is there whole day and then the dog can choose when to eat what to do because that's not a ritual actually it's giving power to the dog to choose when what how he gonna eat and then actually what we ever what we ever what actually we show to our dog is that okay guy you are empowered you can choose to do whatever you want when you want but then don't complain if the dogs doesn't listen to you because you just handed him over the power of leaders that's that's very important the dog is try, dog's mind little consciousness it's not uh, high high level of the consciousness as a man do has it because the man can think the dog can think the dog can just react on whatever circumstances and environment they are in they're gonna react and their behavior will be reaction on the environment that actually includes entire our family interactions in between the family members interaction with each member to the dog 
will be significant and play a significant role in the dog's behavior. So, in order to get back, claim back our space, claim back our position, claim back our leadership role, that the dogs expect us and then we committed, we, pr we promised we're going to be that in their relationship. So, we need to take over a couple of rituals, a couple of things that we do anyhow, we just need to perform it properly. So once performed properly, the dogs know, oh my God, look at him, he's such a good leader. So for me, it's just to follow him because he's up to his task or they're up to their task.